Adam Meyer Clayton said his life was filled with pain. He was treated for a host of mental illnesses. Non-existence is better than this. He wanted the law to change so he could end his life with a doctor's help. But in 2017, he died by suicide. These people are suffering, and if there are doctors willing to help them to end the suffering when there's no hope in sight in the foreseeable future, let them have a dignified death. The world lost its color. But others fear the consequences. I'm speaking about my mental health struggles because I'm scared that doctors could soon be able to end the lives of people suffering with mental illness. Two Conservative MPs put together this video arguing against changing the law. I might have used it to end my suffering as soon as I could. The new law would allow people who aren't already close to death to have a doctor's help to die. After a recommendation from the Senate last month, the government is now adding those who are suffering only from mental, not physical, illness. The change would take effect in two years. That would allow facilitated suicide through the medical system for people struggling with depression and other forms of mental illness. I think it's irresponsible of any member to try to say the government is trying to facilitate suicide. In fact, the justice minister says a panel of experts will recommend mental health safeguards. We have to distinguish which cases uh, where there's a possibility uh, of improvement, uh, when the symptom, when the symptom of, of perhaps wanting to, to die is part of the condition itself. But the debate on the law itself was forced to a vote by the Liberals and the Bloc. Why would the government limit reasonable questions of concern. Canadians are expecting us to get the job done. The issue now heads back to the Senate with the clock ticking on a court-imposed deadline two weeks away. Catherine Cullen, CBC News, Ottawa.